Hi and a warm welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle Collins, world leading face yoga expert, and today we are going to do acupressure techniques but we are going to use our knuckle. Now, usually with acupressure techniques, you'll notice I use the index finger, sometimes the other fingers. And I really like this because it gives a nice medium pressure. However, these acupressure points today, we're going to go a little bit deeper. Now, this doesn't necessarily make them any better. You can do an acupressure point with the most gentle feather-like touch, and it can still be so powerful and so effective for so many things, for boosting the circulation, for helping to have deep wellness benefits, for helping the energy or the life force energy or the chi or the prana flow effectively. But I like to mix things up a bit. And sometimes if you feel like you just want to go a little bit deeper, this can work really well, but please work to your own level. If anything feels uncomfortable, if it feels like it's a little bit too deep, then just leave it at that. So if it feels okay for you, you want to ground your feet onto the floor, lengthen up through your spine, relax your shoulders here as much as you can. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead you through each acupressure point. And as we do this, I'm going to do a little bit of sound therapy. So I'm either going to use my lovely little bowl here and strike that, or I'm going to use my lovely little bell. So you can really relax, and this is really just helping deepen those wellness benefits. And you can probably tell I've got a bit of cold today, just a little bit blocked in that area. So it's a perfect place to start is the sinus area. So we're going to use these two points here. We're gonna go into here, and you're just going to press with as much pressure as feels comfortable for you. And I just want you to breathe as deeply as you can. Don't worry if you can't fully breathe here because you will be able to breathe better when you lift off, but you still want the nostrils open, but you're just going in that little indentation there. So press in there now, close your eyes for a moment, and I'm going to chime the bells while you take two deep breaths. Beautiful, and then just bring your hands gently off. Next, we're going to work on really reducing stress and helping the circulation at the side of the face. So knuckles into this position and we're going onto the temples. And this time we're going to massage rather than hold. So starting off by massaging in one direction whilst I strike this beautiful bowl. And then massage in the other direction now. Take a lovely long deep breath whilst you still just massage in that area, really feeling your mind calm, and then just bring your hands gently down. Okay, so we're then just going to come to this position again and come between the eyebrows. And we're going to massage again in a circular action, a little bit deeper using this area rather than this area. So you really can go into, really into the point here as much as you'd like. So doing it here, and start to massage, breathing deeply in through the nose and out through the nose, making the exhalation longer than your inhalation. And then circle in the other direction. Beautiful, and bring it gently back down. And our final acupressure point today, inner corners of the cheeks. So you're going to just pull inwards here, find that indentation, come into here, press inwards. So you're simply going to press here, breathing deeply in and out through the nose. This point is going to help to brighten the cheeks and it also helps to reduce tension in the upper jaw area. And then you're going to do a little circular action here, just in one direction. And then in the other direction. Take a lovely long deep breath bring your hands gently down and you are all done. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you'd like more information about face yoga and also my accredited face yoga teacher training program, you can head to faceyogaexpert.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye.